two. And welcome to chapter eight of Spell Cards and Keyblades. With us, we have. Uh, let me bring this up. Spell Cards and Keyblades. Not Spell Cards I'm and Keyblades. Not. Something <laughs> way better than that. <laughs> Find the gap. What? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Magic, I have lost respect. How dare, how dare you? Is that bad? No, it's not that bad. This is like freaking alternate universe spell cards and key blades. Guys, hold on. Spazdeek, how dare you? How dare you? I'm sorry. Here's Mind the Gap. I'm Spazdeek. Enough riffing on spasty. This is really Mind the Gap, Chapter 8, A Decisive Bat. I am your uh, reader and author, Momiji, Jimmy Chen, or Roy. Damn it. Choose whatever you want. <laughs> and I am Deity Diz, and I am joining this critique once again. I'm TDB and again. Uh, the reader. Roy, I'm going to call you, like, Can I? My angel. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, Tom, you can't because we don't really have time. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> Sorry, okay, no, I'm no, really no. throwing that out there. To all the people who are wondering what the hell is going on, I'm leaving to go out of town quickly, and we're doing this fast. All right, and then and it's Friday, 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 not Saturday. Yes, it's Friday. Chapter eight: A decisive battle. Back, go. The air rushed past Isaac's face. It, felt like a tornado blowing all around him, but the feeling was too good to ignore. So this is what flying feels like, he thought and pulled the bag from his back. He, had, he hadn't actually checked what he had shoved into it. Now was the only chance he was going to get, and Isaac was going to take it. Let's see what I have. Was going to be taking it. Was going to be taking it. Eh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> all right. Sally was not too encouraging. Five grenades, 24 discs, five one-by-one one blocks of C4, one by and one a, pair of, a pair off dirty goggles. <laughs> wow. Now the mistake dirty is dirty goggles, the other way around. Swiped off the table by accident. Fumbling a little, Isaac whipped them off. God damn it, why am I so bad in this one? Whipped them Whip off it. with his shirt and Whip put it. put the goggles on, then started to speed up. He had to get to the Tangu village before too long. Serena had already gotten into a skirmish, but if Isaac was lucky, he would get there before it was too late. Sadly, fate had a different plan. As he came into sight of the village, he stopped. What was... What was that? Damn! Isaac thought as he saw something, then dropped off the broom, grabbing it before flipping back on top of it. What the hell was that? Isaac yelled barely having regained his footing on the broom. I looked like someone was shooting me with rainbow. It's a rainbow, motherfucker. <laughs> I just Are said, you said, realizing how crazy that sounded. Mm -hmm. There, a non-believer. Let's convert him as Graham told us to. What? Tangu yelled out. Her eyes glazed over as uh, she spoke. Glass. It was only a second or two before three more Tangus and three humans appeared by the first, all looking crazy and ready to attack. Glaze is G L A Z E D. You spelled uh, glass. I bet. Glass. Yeah. Glass. And the tango is what? That's put a posture. Hey, I'll glass the you. Uh, I no. If you look oh, through yeah. the entire fic, I for some reason every time I say tangus, as in multiple tangu, I always have a different way of saying it. I'm not. I'm never quite sure how hmm. to say. It. I prefer I just do. tangu for the plural. Well, you made it possessive, yeah. like Tengu's, like it's something belonging to the Tengu. Yeah, just go on, yeah, go on. I, I know it. I know what I did, and I know it's wrong. Right, that's go on, go on. Hey, I don't want any... Isaac began, ducking under another shot. Fine, if you won't listen to reason, let's try this! I don't want I, any, no. I need an adult! Isaac growled, pulling the pin from a grenade, tossing it into in the midst of the group. The explosive was a little off, exploding below the people instead of in the middle of them. It didn't matter much, as as soon as the people were hit by he grenade. God damn it, my grammar. I don't know what was wrong with me this day. <laughs> he man is in a grenade form? Shut up. 
<laughs> they vanished, as if engulfed by the explosion. Isaac would have regarded that as strange if a shame. That was my <laughs> stinging pain hadn't shot through his arm. Yeah, he grunted, pulling a grenade from the pack, and it's supposed to be an and there, looking around. The transformation. Why? What is so wrong with me in this leave. chapter? Seriously, <laughs> I think it's in chapter nine, and you're already being a baka. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Dude, transformation. Like, uh, the you transformation have no idea into the real what abstract hit him. is occurring slowly. Yes. But it is occurring. I have no idea what had hit him, but it hurt like hell. Grenade still in his hand, he put a finger over the wound. Uh, finger. Yeah, he put a finger over the wound in the mid. Uh, damn it, my eyes are going wonky too. Fuck, <laughs> it's not even after nine. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he put a finger over the wound now on his arm. It was just below his sleeve, and with a single touch, he could tell he was bleeding. Damn, that stings. Isaac inhaled sharply before putting the explosive back in the pack. Time to move. If someone finds me alone here, I don't think I'll have the luxury of being able to explain. Wait, one thing. You kind of put only one quotation, two quotations in this, uh, in that like third paragraph. Fourth, two, one, two, three, four, five, five paragraphs, fifth paragraph, because all the rest are just like uh, apostrophes so far. Oh, shut up, you. Uh, yeah, no, wait. Um, apostrophes means he's thinking. That oh. that's the rule I've always gone by. Uh -huh. I go by italics. Apostrophe or italicized means thought. Uh, a quotation mark equals saying out loud. Uh, I would use italics just for the sake of consistency. That's, honestly, that just comes from my days in role playing where I, where you would always separate the two like that. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He thought, setting off again, ripping his sleeve to make a makeshift wrap for the wound. I hope I'll be able to get some actual medical attention for that soon, he sighed, kicking the broom into high gear. Unfortunately for Isaac, it wasn't long before he ran into another group of humans, and these were not only armed, but were waiting for someone like him to come and try and get past them. Stop Wait, the heretic! Wait, if I can interrupt, how do you kick a broom into high gear? Last time I checked, a broom is just a broom. It's, it's a magical broom, shut up! I, I, it yeah, it, it's magic. So, uh, heroic. It's I get that it's a broom. Does it have like a four wheel? Does it have like? Let's just read it. Or something? it. It's like Marissa's broom. It's this is Notori trying to recreate Marissa's broomstick. Things get full. Using it's like technology. A it's a stick shift. Let's just read now, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I don't right. have that much time. It could just be a. It's metaphor. like a nerfed version. Shut up! Shut up. shut up! Everyone, shut up! Now, Go. now to yell out one of my favorite lines that I wrote. Stop the heretic! One yelled, gathering a few confused looks from the others. The one on the broom! <laughs> the first one yelled really? before everyone nodded in understanding and started firing. What is this, Halo? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac dropped to prone on the broom, trying to avoid a volley of rainbow colored shots, one barely grazing the side of his leg as he dropped. The pain was instant and familiar as the shot bullet thing tore through the fabric of his jeans and left a rather shallow wound. Okay, getting hit by those things is a bad idea. Getting hit by those things is bad. Good to know, Isaac thought, grabbing a grenade and throwing it at, his gr at the group. Who would have thunk something just being shot at you is bad? It is. He's, 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 being, sarcastic. he's being sarcastic to himself right now. In all seriousness, this does feel a little bit like Halo. He got a pretty good shot considering the volley of shots coming at him. The grenade hitting one of the humans in the face, bouncing off and exploding. It engulfing three in the explosion. Isaac would have to feel bad about killing his own kind later, as the shots were not going to let up enough for him to feel anything besides adrenaline. But you spell adrenaline really wrong. I did? I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. Weird. Anytime I put an E, the uh, frickin' autocorrect says differently, but whatever. I do. Uh, 
Another grenade, and only one was left. Isaac rushed forward, a disc in his hand. Where's Graham? He yelled out. He yelled, grabbing the last one by the collar. The master will rule. We will die for him tonight to ensure people have a brighter future. The cultist-like servant yelled. He managed to get a shot shot off, this one tearing across Isaac's side. Isaac winced, then stuck the disc to the man, throwing him down to the ground before it exploded. Isaac shed a few tears as he landed under the tree that had fallen. He had just killed almost 20 people. Isaac felt sick to his stomach. He was a murderer. It was true that they attacked him first, but he still took their lives without remorse. What? One of them. What kind of monster am I? What? What? I don't, I'll just keep One going. One of them. Room of the murderer. Huh. I don't know. They didn't want to talk about the murderer. Shh. I'm really quick before you continue. I think that after he says what monster am I, there's supposed to be the end of him, of him talking. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Just let him <laughs> read. I, anything small like that, I generally feel like. Just make sure. Alright, yes, uh, moving not, on. Not to sound ungrateful for the critique, but small stuff like that I generally realize and kick myself for. Uh, ah, yeah. alright. What, what kind of monster am I? He said aloud before he jumped. A twig snapping behind him. His hand went to another one of, uh, black, that's supposed to be black, not bad. Notorious black discs. The fact you're asking that means you aren't that bad of a monster, a woman said, ducking under the low branches of the leaning tree. Raymu is going to be glad you aren't dead yet, she said with a smile, pulling her witch's hat off and wiping her head with her arm, then replacing <gasps> Dead. I was about to say, God damn it, Yukari, but whoa. Uh, Isaac relaxed a little when she spoke of Reimu, but still held the explosive in his hand. Who exactly are you? How do you know Reimu? He asked, his stance starting to falter as he felt the weariness of combat starting to hit him. Whoa, whoa, sit down, you're in no shape to be standing, the girl said, helping him to the ground before he fell over. I'm Marissa Kirasame, and Reimu is a good friend of mine. Now relax, Raymu's on her way, and we can think of a plan when she gets here. Marissa said, taking her, his bag and looking through it. So, you stopped by Notori's workshop before rushing out here, huh? She chuckled. Not a bad idea. Though, I suppose that means you have no grasp on Don Maku. She mumbled the last part. A lot of good that did me. All I've been able to do is get myself shot three times and nearly kill, and kill nearly 20 people. Isaac groaned, moving his head to his hand to his side. The wound was shallow and already stopped bleeding, but it stung like a wasp. Killed? You really haven't encountered Don Maku before. You can't kill people through a spell card through spell cards rules. All you can do is take a live away. Isaac Isaac's face screamed a flat What? Lives? <laughs> What is this? Some kind of game? What is this yes. <laughs> He said, trying to sit up and falling back in pain. Some call Don Maku a game, but it's easier to resolve conflicts and incident when incidents when no one really dies. I'll explain it all when Raymu gets here. For now, take a nap. I'll keep watch. Marissa said with a wink before Isaac's eyes shut, and he fell into the comfortable darkness of sleep. Raymu needs to see this. A person physically harmed by Don Maku. Marissa shook her head. This was something completely new and very, very bad. Mm. Like the ending. Yay. And Some Jeffer. call Don Maku a game. I see what you did there. Was that, right. end? Yeah. Was that the end of the chapter? That was the end of the chapter. Mm -hmm. yeah, now we're on it's chapter it's nine. It's yes, chapter yeah. nine. The chapter I managed to go an entire thing without making a Cherno joke. Da, 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 da. But that's the nope. thing. If you want people to keep reading <laughs> to the next thing. chapter, you've done your job. What? If you want people to read your next chapter after you've done after you've written it, then you've done your job as a writer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As opposed to running in hell like spell cards and freaking key blades. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's still Wait, coming I just up. Hey Spaz, did you like my TV tropes reference there? Uh, let's see. I think I might have missed it. Where was it? Flat what? 
the TV hey, Tropes Lord, reference. You have to be 110% interested in this. So please, hurry up and write the freaking next chapter before I... The next chapter's already you. up. You got my attention yeah. on this, I will say that. The next chapter is already oh, up, is and if you guys want to continue, we will keep going. Keep going. Well, keep going. 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 Alright, good shitting bricks, Roy. That's not the answer. Calm down. Alright, so, the vote is keep going? Yeah. yeah. Wait, yep. can I sit there real quick? Yep. Before we keep sure. going, should we switch it to a different episode, or should we keep on going with the same video? Yeah, let's That's make it nice and... Let's, yeah, let's uh, make it two different videos. So, this has been Spastique, um, and, uh... All this... Bye, everybody! <laughs> yes, bye! Bye! bye. bye. bye.